let's have a look at the difference between uh, two terms you might see quite commonly in chemistry, uh, reactant and reagent. The problem being they're often used interchangeably uh, in various places, uh, but there is a kind of distinction between them that's quite important. So in order to uh, identify that difference, let's consider a definition for each and also uh, an example. Now a reactant uh, is probably the term you might hear uh, most in any chemistry course. These are chemicals that are actually consumed or used up in a chemical reaction in order to form products. So if we take a simple example, let's take the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to form water. Because my hydrogen and oxygen are both being used up in my reaction in order to form water, they are the reactants. So that's true of any chemical equation. The things that you draw on the left-hand side are going to be your reactants because they will change. We'll have bond breaking, bond making in order to form products. A reagent, on the other hand, uh, is a chemical that's used to perhaps initiate or carry out or speed up or even monitor a chemical reaction, but they are not themselves used up in that reaction to form products. So some general examples of reagents that are not reactants. Uh, we might think about uh, initiators, which are chemicals that are required to actually start uh, a reaction. Uh, we might think about solvents. Solvents are often very, very important to allow a reaction to actually take place. Uh, we might use catalysts to speed up a chemical reaction. Again, catalysts themselves are not used up. They are always reproduced, um, again, if they've been used in my reaction. And finally, we might use something like uh, indicators, chemical indicators in a titration, for example, which is not being consumed in the chemical reaction, it's not being helped uh, or used to produce products, but it is an important thing for monitoring that reaction itself. Uh, and that's pretty much it for reactant and reagent. Hopefully this video is of some help.